Hi, my name is Sharbel, and today we are on the video number 5 on how to use the business rules module. In this video, I will show you how to fetch an existing node and update the values of its fields. For example, let's say you want to automatically find an existing node on your website, pull it out of the database, update some of its fields, and then save it back to the database. And you want all of this to happen when any user has logged in. To do so, in our last video, the video number 4, we have created a new content type under the name of profile. So now, we will go ahead and create a new content of that type profile, so later we can use it as the example in this tutorial. Go ahead, content, add content of type profile. I will just give, give the title this is the fetched node and for the body text I will write this text will be replaced using the business rules module scroll down and save Okay, now after saving our uh, node, I will tell you something that in order to fetch any entity from the database, we need to use one unique ID related to that entity. You can use any, any, field, you, any field you like existing on this uh, uh, entity, but in our case, I will use the node ID. But as I said, you can use any other field you like, but this field should be unique just to avoid any other errors. In our case, I will use the node ID. In order to find the node ID, when you are on the display page of the node, go to the URL, and you will find here that node slash 4. 4 is the node ID. So keep this number in mind. Now we will go ahead and create our actions. Configuration, workflow, business rules. We want, we want to take one node or fetch one node from the database and change its values. To do so, we have to take this uh, node from the database and save it inside a variable. After that, change or update its values. So first of all, we should create one variable to hold the data of this node. Go ahead to variables tab, add variable, select empty entity variable and hit continue button I will give the label and description for this variable for the label I will go by empty entity variable and at the beginning I will add fetched profile node just for references same I will go for the description scroll down now the, this variable is of type of what entity, it will be entity of type content and related to the profile bundle, hit save. So now we have created one variable which will hold only entity of type content and specifically the profile content. Now we should create our action to actually fetch this uh, entity from the database and uh, put it inside this variable. So go ahead to the business rules page. After that, click the actions button. Add action. And from here, please select the fetch entity variable by ID. Hit continue. Same here, we should give a label and description. For the label, I will go by fetch entity variable by ID and at the beginning I will add fetch profile node also for references nothing else also same goes for the description scroll down now we are going to fetch entity of type content also of bundle profile here 
the entity ID field. As I said before, we should choose one field which will be uh, work as the ID of this node. In our case, we are using the node ID field. So we have to search for the node ID which is located here. Integer. Integer means that this uh, this uh, field cannot hold any uh, can hold only the data of type integer which are the number one two three four like this. Hit the save button. Now the page will refresh and the new field will be represented for us, which is the value field. Under this value field, we should put the value of this field of this ID field. So basically, we have now one ID one field that is working as the ID of this node. Now we should specify the value of this ID. In our case, the value is 4. If you remember, when we created our node, we chose, we, we, uh, we check the node ID, which is 4. Now we should put 4 under the value of the node ID. I will, I will just mention one small thing here. You can use token and variable inside this field here and this will will bring even the business rules module more and more powerful when you use it along with token and variables but how to use it with variables it will be for uh, for another video not in the scope of uh, of this video of this video now so please go ahead and save the action okay basically so far we created one variable then created one action to take this data this node from the database and keep it inside this variable now we should create another action to change or update the values inside this variable so go ahead to the business rules page again actions add action and select set values to entity variable hit continue again for the label i will go to by set values to entity variable and i will add at the beginning fetched profile node same goes for the description scroll down choose the entity type which is content choose the bundle type which is profile and hit the save button Now new field will be presented for us to choose the variable which will be updated. Our variable, it's fetch it profile node which is already selected for us. Okay, scroll down. In this area here, under field and values for the variable, here are all the variables available for this uh, fetched node. So we have to choose what field we want to update and update its value. Actually, I want to update only the body field. So go ahead and select the body field which is here body field and under the value you can use tokens or variables here but i will just go by a uh, static data i will say this user has logged in and please make sure to click on the add button for every row of this table before saving the action so add After adding, please save the action. Go back to the business rules page. Now we still have one more action uh, to go for, which will and this action actually will save the update of this node back to the database. So go to the action, add action, and select save entity variable. After fetching, fetching the uh, entity from the database, change its value. Now we need one action to save this uh, variable back to the database. So this uh, I will give also the label save entity variable, and I will add at the beginning profile. Sorry, fetched profile node. Same goes for the description scroll down choose the variable to be saved the variable is of type content bundle profile hit the save button 
now the page will refresh and new field will be represented to choose the entity variable to be uh, saved in our case we have only one variable available on our website so it's easy for us to choose it which is fetch profile node and hit the save button when finished from recreating our variables and action and actions we have to go back to the business rules page and create the rule so rules add rule as we said at the beginning of this video i will be uh, i will be ch fetching this uh, this uh, node and changing its value when a new user when any user has logged in so go back to the go down to the event of user has logged in and hit the continue button I will give it the label of the user has logged in and at the beginning I will add fetch node fetch profile node same goes with the, for the description scroll down because the event is about when user has logged in so the entity type user is already selected for us so no need to do anything else here just save now the page will refresh and a new section will be represented for us to choose our action we already created three actions so we should add these three actions here in this rule so go to the add action link and here are our three rules just add them one by one again add action choose the second rule and add action one more and choose the third rule uh, third action sorry okay here we, here we should pay attention about something that the items are evaluated on the presented order so drag them to change the order the uh, first of all we have to be logical here we should reorder the actions as they go by rule so first of all the node is being fetched from the database so the first action will be fetch entity variable by id great the second uh, action will be the to update the value inside the variable so we have to drag and drop this action to be the second one here after that after updating we have to save the variable first of all fetch the entity variable by id second set values to entity variable and third save this entity variable go ahead scroll and save now when we when we done creating our rule go back to the home page i will log out and then log in again to check our rule if it's working log out and i will log in again admin login now I will go to the content area of our uh, website to check if the rule has been fired this is our uh, node this is the fetched node so go ahead and edit and as you can see here in the body text the text has been changed and now is this user has logged in so now we know that everything is working this will be all for this video see you in the next one and have a good day bye bye